Hi, I'm James Ward, a developer advocate at TypeSafe. I wanted to show you a little project that I worked on over the weekend. What it does is it will automatically refresh your browser in a play application. So whenever you make changes in a play app, all you have to do is save your changes and then play will automatically recompile or uh, do whatever it needs and, and then you'll see the changes automatically. So let me show you how it works. So I'm just going to start up my play application with play twiddle run and I've already installed the SBT plugin. You can find information about how to do that on my GitHub. The project is play-auto-refresh. And then there's also a Chrome extension that this uses. So let's go check out the app in the browser. Let's open it up here. So great, there's my application. So now I'm gonna come over here and make a change to the code. So I'll just make a little change and you'll see that automatically the Scala compiler will kick in, compile this application, and then you'll notice that I didn't have to hit refresh on my browser. It automatically refreshed for me as soon as the change was compiled. Uh, also, if we make a change that's a compile error, then you'll see that automatically again, the page refreshes and I see the error in the browser. Uh, I can also fix that error and then everything should be good again. So that works for Scala, also would work for Java source code, and then it also work for assets that are compiled by Play's asset compiler, so less, uh, JavaScript and um, and CoffeeScript. So I can come in here and make a change to my less and again Play will automatically uh, recompile that and then I see that wonderful change there in my browser. JavaScript works the same way of course so I can come in here and change this to do an alert and there we go we see the alert. So, uh, so there we go. That's uh, the Play Auto Refresh plugin. It's a SPT plugin. You can find instructions on how to add that to your Play application here on the project on GitHub, and then the Chrome extension. That's it. Thanks for watching.